Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. So as I said I was going to do in my previous progress reports on both Switch emulators, I am going to be following the emulated status of games like Super Mario Odyssey, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and Octopath Traveler very closely. So as the title of this video would suggest, Octopath Traveler is now booting in Yuzu this Nintendo Switch emulator. So before I actually boot the game I'm going to show you all of the settings that I am using in Yuzu itself. When we come to the settings tab, you can see I'm using enable CPU JIT, enable multicore, and enabling the dock mode. Coming across the graphics, you can see that I am limiting the frame rate. I am only limiting the frame rate because it just seems to boot a little bit faster when I do this for some reason. I'm not really too sure why. You can also see that they also added this new audio tab in the past few releases, and uh, it's pretty cool that we now have selectable audio and selectable audio devices inside of the emulator. So, first of all, I'm going to have to actually Click the game to launch it in the games list and you will see that the speed and we should be seeing FPS very soon. If not this time, I'm just going to speed up this footage a little bit until it starts actually showing FPS. Okay, so we're back and it is now rendering FPS as you can see in the bottom corner. Also, there you go, there is the very first signs of emulation life in Octopath Traveler on this Nintendo Switch emulator Yuzu. Now unfortunately at this time it's just going to get stuck at around 2 FPS you can see here and it's going to get stuck at or around 4-5% to game speed. Um, there's not really anything you can do, I've left this run for three and a half hours I think was the longest I left it for and it didn't progress past this screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to overlay what actually happens when you boot this game on a Nintendo Switch just so you can see that this is in fact Octopath Traveler booting on this emulator. So what should happen is it will load through a flashing icon in the bottom right hand corner, it will then go to a language and systems menu and then once you select your language it is going to load through all of the splash screens and then if I remember correctly it should just load into the title menu for the game itself. Um, I don't have my switch beside me right now but off the top of my head I'm pretty sure it goes logo, system and language menu, splash screens and then it just loads in game. Well, not in game, it loads to the title menus, but yeah, you guys get the idea. So yeah, this is basically the emulation status of Octopath Traveler running on this Nintendo Switch emulator Yuzu. So yeah, once again guys, cheers for checking out the video. I know this one didn't exactly show anything groundbreaking, but I really just do want to document absolutely every stage of this and many of my other Nintendo Switch titles running on these two Nintendo Switch emulators. So that's about it for this video guys, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't. If you want to buy me a beer, you can do so by following the donation link down in the video description. Otherwise, you can head on over to my Patreon and help to support the channel over there. And as always, subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.